Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Master Division for the City Park 9 Hold Cup Qualifying Round Edition. Video sponsored by Gold Clash and Play Demic. And before we start, make sure that you do hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. You can also get the ultimate tournament text guide for Master Division for free. Just that you belong to the Gold Clash community. So you don't have to pay for it. Test it out and give it a go. And see if that's something for you. If that's something for you and you will uh, and you want to continue, then you go to patreon.com slash gold clash tommy and sign up for future tournaments. Obviously, you will get um, the telegram chats, you will be able to see the videos in our video for video followers, you will get everything that you will need to really crush uh, this nine hole cup for the city part. That's only for the qualifying round, though. For the final round, we won't have anything for free. Follow the info box on the right hand side to get the club distance adjustment, elevation adjustment, also what ball and club type I suggest you to play with. Have in mind that those are all suggestions and you don't have to follow what I do suggest, but there is always a plan behind it. So, let's go to hole number one. For hole number one, we are going to play a rough bump with our sniper. I'm using one bar of top spin, half a bar of side spin to the right. And you can see here now that I'm looking for three specific things. Top of the yellow ring by the edge of the rough. One third of the red ring inside the bunker and the ball guideline going through the hole. Now, when we are going to adjust, we are going to use an 1159 in terms of pull angle. The reason we're going to do that is because we are pulling ourselves down from a higher point to a lower point and therefore we need to compensate by using an 1159 which will make us fly the amount that we do need the minimum distance with a 10 percent over adjustment power one ball settings and then we are going to hit perfect this shot is as on every city park hole very finicky which means that we will be dropping this one a decent bunch but it's also going to be a risk of missing just left or just right because there is a lot of bumps there is a lot of you know you could see that green is a really weird green so again but we start off on hole number one with a very good chance for a drop On hole and number two, we are going to play a very simple drive on a very tough par four. First, just ignore what I'm doing here at the start. We're going to take a more closer look once I push this, uh, push my club up to max. So we're gonna start in complete max distance with the white ring to the left by the rough line with Thor, Apocalypse seven and Apocalypse eight. If you do play with Apocalypse five or six. Half of the white ring inside the rough to the left due to having less accuracy and therefore bigger rings. Maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment power 5 ball settings. And once that is done, we shall not push up to max. We shall go with max over power, max curl to the left with then a slow needle. It's going to make it much more easy to hit perfect. Than it would be if we would be pushing up to max and you can see here that we are rolling all the way down to the final piece of fairway avoiding all the bunkers i've been hitting a great left and i've still been on fairway i've been hitting a great right and i've been on fairway but i've also been into the rough so what i would like you to do is to pack the amazon as a rough iron just to make sure that if you make a terrible drive that you can still with the top spin bounce off towards the green and secure the birdie. I totally understand that there is probably plenty of power uh, hooks out there and I've tested a couple of different options but it goes against all everything that I believe in when it comes to designing a shot to deliberately put myself into into the rough by the green and try to hit the albatross from there and that's why it's not suggested but obviously it's completely up to you uh, in what way you want to play now second shot we play with our b52 or we play with the goliath if we don't have the b52 level six or better so here i'm going to add spin i'm going to play uh, this one where it's not glitchy meaning that we're gonna have to move ourselves up to 
that spot there. Nice. So we're going to have 5.5 bar top spin and 1.8 bars of side spin to the right here on this shot in the end. I want to have the ball guideline to go approximately one green square through the hole because we are adjusting down into uh, the bunker, meaning we adjust from a higher to a lower point and will therefore lose distance. Now, from the plus 16 yard mark, we are adjusting 84% slider, 5% elevation, power 5 ball settings. Great left, great right with a straight wind like this. It's still going to hit the rough, but we're not going to drop it. But with a perfect ball, I would say that this is going to be a very good chance to actually drop this one for an eagle on probably one of the tougher part fours that we do have in the whole game. So an eagle, not as it's not likely that we get it all the time, but this is a very solid uh, play for a tough part four. On hole number three, we're going to play a no movement with our drive. That means that you shall not touch the target until it's time to adjust the rings. Max top spin and max top spin boost is what we're going to play, and half a bar of side spin to the right. Maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment, and then we shall push up to absolute very max. I've been playing with the highest wind with wind two, I've been playing with the lowest wind of wind two, and I've cleared the rough with both type of winds but have in mind that if you do have a little bit more crosswind and tailwind you might not clear the rough completely and that is just something that you need to have in mind because again different wind angles will affect the ball differently now we bounce just over with mid wind with wind two and we get ourselves up to a very nice spot when it comes to here on the fairway I packed the sniper because I do believe that with the top spin boost, if we don't cl uh, clip the rough with the second bounce, then we shall be able to reach with our sniper. Then I'd rather play with the sniper than I do play with the guardian or I play with the cataclysm. So what I would do here now, now you can see me doing many different things here on a short period of, of time, is because I have a hard time to decide what to do. So first and foremost, look at the spot that I'm in here now. This is the spot that I do want to play if you clip the rough with your drive with the second bounce and roll up short. Because if you're going to go for green, if you clip the rough with the second bounce on your drive, then that's going to be tough and most likely going to require some overpower. But if you don't clip the rough, I would like you to play like this. I would like you to add one left spin, four bars of backspin, ball guideline should go right side of the up because we don't have more side spin than one so we can't really get it anywhere else adjustment here now no elevation power three ball settings is what we're using and from plus six i did play 88 percent slider i would however recommend here to play with 81 percent slider instead obviously a great ball will not help but you can see what the idea is, is to get to the top of the green to fall down towards the pin. Do I expect this one to drop many times for an albatross? No, I don't. But it feels nice to actually have a shot at it. And, you know, if we're dropping one albatross, then, you know, that's better than zero, in my opinion, at least. So, face-off ball, or any other type of top spin boost ball, I would say the spirit ball, the palm ball is also brilliant type of balls i would say for apocalypse level 7 level 8 you could also play with a regular power 5 wind zero ball also but again recommended is a top spin boost ball to make sure that you are going to go over the rough most of the times On hole number four, we do have another good chance on the city park. Those do not come often, but the par threes are definitely good chances here in the nine hole cup. Red ring by the rough line, ball guideline going through the hole. And this is going to be before you add the spin. Very important. Once you have found your position, you shall apply spin. In this video, I'm using uh, approximately 1.6 backspin and half a bar of side spin to the left. I would, however, though, recommend to go with 1.8 bars of backspin because you can see that I come in, you know, kind of hot. And I don't like that because with the speed that we're coming now, we do have a risk of rolling over the hole if we're not hitting the pin. And that is not a risk that we should be taking. So that's why 1.8 bars of backspin is what you're supposed to be. Uh, adjusting maximum distance no elevation power one ball settings 
and we're gonna hit the faraway bounce up and it rolls right that pin for a beautiful hole in one this is a shot that will drop many times in my opinion obviously we do have in the ultimate tournament guys which is free for everyone the, uh, this tournament, the nine hole cup qualifying round, and there you can see wind angle tweaks as well to what to do if you don't have exactly the same wind that I have here on the video. For hole number five, I will give you two type of approaches. One that where we do lay up in a conservative way and one where we do play very aggressive. It's up to you obviously to decide which way that suits you the best. First, we start off with a more conservative route and play with 0.1 bar of topspin and one bar side spin to the right. I'm looking to have the blue ring to the right by the rough with the tip of the ball guideline just into the rough at the top. That's the references that I'm looking at. Maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment is what we're going to do with the rock. And now the only thing that we should try to do is to hit perfect. A great left and a great right will still have, make us have the ball on fairway, so that's not going to be an issue, but obviously we're going to be in a different type of angle towards the pin. The plan is to get the ball to roll up on that little hill there and then just to fall back down. And we're going to be somewhere between 265 and 275 all the time. Second shot, always a 3 left spin and we're going to go with 0 0.3 bars of top spin. I do think that I'm using a little bit too much here in this video. So 0 0.3 bars of top spin, 3 bars of left spin, top of the yellow ring by the edge of the rough with ball guideline on the right side of the cup. Very important. Once that is done, we shall adjust medium distance with a 5% over adjustment uh, for this shot. And if we do hit perfect with our sniper, which, eh, you know, it's not, <laughs> it's not happening all the time. But if we do, then we will see this ball being, if so, very close, but... You know, I would say that that ball is most likely going to drop if you hit perfect. Because this is a good shot, but again, playing in Master Division, playing with your sniper, it is tough to hit perfect. And obviously a great left will miss uh, a left side of the cup. For those of you that do look to play the drive, at least very aggressive, should pay close attention now. For the more aggressive approach here, we're going to go with a full overpowered shot, or like a max overpower. Six bars of top spin and two bars of left spin. We are starting with the red ring to the right by the rough line at plus 16 yard mark. That's the max distance of a power three ball for those that are interested in doing in a, a ball swap or something like that. Apocalypse level six or five should be having half of the red ring inside the rough to the right. Adjust is max plus 10, and then we shall apply max overpower, half a ball of curl to the left. And here I would say a double great right will clip the rough first. A minor great right is fine with Apocalypse level 7 or level 8. I would say Apocalypse 5 or 6 is going to be very close, and that's going to be lucky if it does hit the fairway. If you do hit a great left in any form, you may or may not clip the tree when once it's in the air but it's not going to be any type of danger of not reaching for the second shot and it will most likely end up on the fairway second shot we play with the falcon and here i'm going to do a reference where is that i'm going to move up to uh, to see where the top of the white ring are so the top of the white ring is by the cup at plus 10 yard mark so that is my reference so i'm always going to move my falcon up and look to where the top of the white ring, uh, when the top of the right ring is by the cup, and what plus yardage I'm going to get. One and a half bar backspin and half a bar of left spin. So ball guideline to the hole with top of the yellow ring just by the uh, start of the fringe. With a plus ten yard mark here, I do play. I did play seventy five percent slider. I would recommend to play 82% slider instead to make sure that we do have room to get this ball to drop because we have wind pushing right to left, we have a green pushing right to left, we also have a nice funnel coming into uh, the green on the right side. So if we are, we rather want to over adjust slightly than under adjust slightly like we're doing here now. This one, you know, compared to the sniper, you're going to have, a, like if you make the drive correct, I recommend the Falcon option. 
But if you do have a problem with max overpower drives, which, you know, plenty of us do have a problem of, uh, with that many times, then lay up, take the easy way with still a good chance for an eagle when playing the sniper route and just be sure that not making any mistakes and go to the final round. what a boring win we are going to have on hole number six and here i would strongly advise you to play with a power five wind four ball if following the route that i'm suggesting here now we also have the highest possible wind in this video that we can get we can't get higher than 10.4 miles per hour with a wind four ball so adjust maximum distance plus 10 from the plus 17 yard mark you can see here that we do adjust into overpower, but make sure you get the full amount of range so you get the direction correct. Full overpower and try to hit perfect. Those of you having Apocalypse level 5 will most likely stay in rough. Those with Apocalypse level 6 will clip the rough and roll out. When it comes to Apocalypse 7 and level 8, we'll most likely clear the rough in every type of wind strength. And then if we do clear the rough, it's going to be no problem. Then we're just going to play ourselves ourselves safely towards the green area here but you know i'm gonna show you as well a video from my opponent that did clip the rough that didn't you know miss the rough with the second bounce and you're gonna see how to act if that's going to happen maximum distance no elevation for the second shot i play myself to the right side of the green i'm not trying to do any weird bounces over the bunker and stuff like that because here our only plan is to lock in the eagle perfect ball Bounces nicely on the fairway, rolls up towards the right side of the green, and as this hill here works as many other holes here on the city park, it falls down and we have a super simple wedge. But again, let's say that we would be clipping the rough with the second bounce. Let's take a look at that and see what we shall do. Then we will be approximately here, and it's not going to be a problem with this shot. It's just that going to be a way, way easier. Uh, sorry, harder. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is that we're going to use all the top spin that we do have and one left spin and then we're gonna adjust still max no elevation and once that is done we shall apply max overpower here also to make sure that we are getting ourselves down towards the green area obviously you're gonna have to go with the overpower with you know some feeling because again if you're somewhere in between where my opponent is and where i am at etc etc you're gonna have to be a bit innovative and t make a decision on the fly so it's hard to obviously guide you into an exact uh, exact scenario here in hole number six terrible hole with a terrible wind and can't be much worse but get the eagle and be done For the final of the par 4s, we're going to play hole number 7, and here we will be using 7 bars of topspin and 1 bar of side spin to the left. This is a tough drive, but you should be okay with a minor great left or a great right. A bad great left is gonna be a big problem. Half of the red ring inside the rough to the left with Apocalypse 7 and 8. If you do play with Apocalypse 6 or 5, I would recommend to have one third of the red ring um, one third of the red ring outside on the fairway, so the yellow ring slightly closer to the rough line. Adjustment is going to be maximum distance plus 10, and here it is important that you do pull with a straight arrow. And the reason for that is that we do want to see how many rings into overpower we are going into. So I went two rings into overpower, and that means then that I shall adjust three rings of overpower. So I do go three rings of overpower here. But let's say that I would adjust one ring into overpower, then I would only use two rings of overpower instead. So always add one extra ring of overpower based on how much you adjust into. 372 is a good yardage, and from there we're going to use the plus yardage on the B52. You can see that that was at plus 8 when it was my turn. I'm going to remember that because I'm going to use that to give ourselves a slider percentage for our Guardian. Weird! Yeah, but it works. So that's why we're gonna do it. So max back spin 0 0.2 bars of left spin. And then we're going to have the second bounce to be just above the pin. One green square above the pin to be more exact. 
and here as having the b52 at plus eight that uh, that should be then 48 percent slider what i adjusted here i adjust the 42 percent slider instead so 48 percent slider is what we are looking for to adjust and then we would have dropped this shot if we would have adjusted that because look how close we are oh my god Oh, so close, so close, so close. 5% elevation, power 4 ball settings is what, we, is what we're using. And once again, this is a tough hole. I don't expect um, any magic on this hole all the time. But with the suggested, uh, suggested play, you have a good chance. For hole number 8, we're going to start with a power 1 ball to find absolute maximum distance of our club. We're going to use a max backspin and 0.2 bars of left spin. Even though this is a replay and it doesn't really show you the correct plus yardage, but this is complete max distance with a power 1 ball. So bottom right of the red ring by the rough line in complete max distance with a power 1 ball. We strongly advise you to push the rings to make sure that you're not going to have this very glitchy pull, which is very common if you pull your rings instead of pushing. So push your rings, even though that's, in my opinion, trickier than pulling. Max plus 15% elevation, power two ball settings. And then we go with 0 0.8 ball of left curl, bouncing on the green and then gets into the funnel on the top right of the pin, fall down into the hole. This is a hole where if you're just catching that funnel on the top right of the green, then you will see this ball drop and drop and drop. So it's very important that you focus, push your rings and use the curl. And the curl is used due to the fact that if we are moving our target more left, we unfortunately with certain wind angles do have a problem with both pushing and pulling our rings where we will be somewhere in a glitchy spot in certain wind strength and that's not something we do want that's why we move more right and we added curl and this one has been money so far and i hope it will be so for you as well On hole number nine, another tough par five with another very tough wind. So I'm going to play to the left, a route that I actually haven't played before until today. So here I'm going to go max top spin, one left spin. And I'm going to use the apocalypse, whether I have it in level five, six, seven or eight, doesn't matter. Blue ring by the rough line at plus 18 with apocalypse seven and eight. Adjust max plus 10. And you can see that we're going to go into overpower here. Um, yeah, no matter what type of win we're going to have. We're going to go with curl. Half a ball uh, to the left in curl. And I'm going to use two rings of overpower when it comes to apocalypse level 7 or level 8. When it comes to apocalypse level 6, I would go three rings overpower. Apocalypse 5, I would go four and a half rings of overpower. If you do play with a luminary ball or any other type of ball that do have wind 3 instead of wind 4 as I'm having here, add an additional ring of overpower. So 3 rings for Apocalypse level 7, 8, 4 rings for Apocalypse 6 and 5.5 and rings which would be max when it comes to Apocalypse level 5. So once we're getting up there and then we're going to, uh, we can do two things here. We can either go and play it super duper safe, just not really care about the hole at all and trying to just have the second bounce to clip the rough and roll out somewhere on the green. But I'm going to play aggressive here. That's what I would like to do and what I like to do, obviously. So uh, three bars of top spin, one bar of right spin. And we're going to have the second bounce to be just in the center of the rough on the other side. As we don't have more side spin, we're going to leave ourselves, you know, to have one ring uh, gap from the right, sorry, we're gonna have the right side of the yellow ring by the rough line, and then we're going to adjust from there. Now, from the plus 13 yard mark, we do recommend to play 77% slider, 5% elevation. That's not what we play here in the video. We play 70% slider instead. So 77% slider would be an extra 0.2. And that's what we need here. You can see as well that I went with two rings of overpower. And that is something that you do need to use. You do need to add the two rings of overpower here because... Otherwise, you will fall short and end up into rough or into the sand. So the two rings of overpower is an absolute must. Make sure you don't forget about that. And we got close. And as 
you know, again, uh, as for the other part fives on the city park, I don't expect anything, but it feels nice to actually be able to attack the pin, even if we do have a direct, direct headwind from start. Thank you so much everybody for watching this playthrough with the tournament win for the City Park 9 Hole Cup here in Golf Clash the game. And have in mind that the ultimate tournament guides for Master Division qualifying round is free for everyone in the Golf Clash community for the City Park 9 Hole Cup. You do have the PDF uh, linked in the description down below so make sure that you take a look and try it out obviously if you do want to continue to have the best guides on the market you do uh, go then to patreon.com slash golf clash tommy and sign up for the ultimate tournament guides there so you are ready for the next tournament which will be the north shore tournament coming up on monday video sponsored by golf clash and play thank you so much for watching and good luck in your golf clash game